Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a story of a man who wanted to surprise his wife, but when he went into her apartment he was shocked, and his wife reacted as if she saw a ghost. This is what happened next. Here's the full story. This will be a bit longer but I am really confused at the moment, so I want to ask this subreddit for help. English is not my first language so please excuse any spelling errors. Quick backstory on me, my now ex-GF was my third relationship in my life, and I've also been cheated on in both of my previous relationships. This is to say that I've already made a lot of mistakes you can make after being cheated on. The pick-me attempts, taking them back, getting violent towards the app and other stupid mistakes you make when you get cheated on. I've learned from these experiences. This sub has already helped me a lot. I was love-bombed and gaslit in both of the previous relationships but I didn't even know what those terms meant at the time. I was blind to red flags and just made stupid decisions overall. After not dating for two years I met my current ex-GF. She was the exact opposite of me, extroverted, loud and the life of the party. We first met at a party and she came up to me and asked me if I wanted to dance. I got uncomfortable and confused since she was extremely gorgeous, but at this point my self-esteem was at rock bottom. I just stood there not saying anything for a minute. She then just took my hand and dragged me onto the dance floor. I actually liked to dance so I didn't fight it and she spent the night just animating me to have fun and interact with people I hadn't met before. It was really fun and she asked for my number at the end of the night, so I gave it to her. After talking and going out for two weeks, I told her about my past relationships and that I didn't know if I wanted to pursue another one. She was very understanding but still said that she wanted me to be with her. I agreed and for the next one and half years, she showed me what a relationship should actually be like. She respected my feelings, asked me how my day was, actually talked to me if something was wrong and a lot of other small things that really showed she cared about me. I regained my self-esteem and of course loved her as much as I could every single day. We had arguments but it was always productive and trying to find a solution and never us screaming at each other. She made me feel loved and desired. This brings me to my D-Day which was now two weeks ago. I was on a language travel for one and half months. We talked to each other daily and I never noticed anything weird about her behavior. I got home three days earlier than planned and wanted to surprise her. I got back to her apartment at 11 p.m. I figured that if she wasn't awake, I'd just lie next to her and surprise her that way since I was also tired. I went into her apartment with her spare key and walked towards the bedroom. When I looked inside, I saw my girlfriend sleeping next to a guy I had never seen before. I felt all the emotions I had felt before and knew that the only good decision was to just walk away until I had calmed down. I went to my car and drove to my home. I tried to sleep but couldn't even though I was tired. For the next two days I didn't let her know what I saw and just replied to her messages like nothing happened. I immediately told my best friend though, let's call him Mr. Krabs since that's what I call him. He really helped me emotionally and got me into the boxing gym where I could let go of most of my anger. Hitting the speed bag is one of the most therapeutic physical experiences I know, I don't know why though. Maybe it's the rhythmic banging of the speed bag. I actually cried for the first time in 13 years talking to him. We talked about what I wanted to do now and how I would confront her. After all of this was done, I visited my girlfriend on the day I was supposed to return. When I arrived, she was very cheerful and went in for a hug but I held my arm out and told her that we needed to talk. I then told her all the things I talked through with Mr. Krabs. I told her that I had actually returned three days early and wanted to surprise her, but when I went into her bedroom I saw somebody else sleeping beside her. The cheerfulness she displayed completely vanished and she looked like she saw a ghost. She tried starting to talk but I told her that I would first be getting everything I want to say off my chest, since she owed me at least that much. I continued to talk to her about how much she had hurt me but that I didn't hate her. I told her that I always would have listened to any problems she had and tried to work it out with her. That her cheating on me was the immediate end of our relationship. I told her all of my thoughts that I had organized with Mr. Krabs. At the end, I basically told her that I wouldn't be in her life anymore but that I still hoped she'd be happy with the new guy. She already started crying as I was talking but when I said the last sentence she started crying harder than any other time I had seen her cry. After she somewhat composed herself, she started saying that the guy didn't mean anything, that it was a one-time thing, she'd never do it again and all the other things that I've seen written down in this subreddit before. I told her that she knew exactly how much it would hurt me and she still did it, so I couldn't take her back. At this point, she started talking about how much of a terrible human being she is and that she should just die. I didn't want to leave her like that, so I tried calming her down but she kept talking about how she doesn't want to live if I'm not with her. So I called her best friend over and explained the situation before leaving. 
After this was done, I sat in my car and on the way home started crying again. I suppressed my emotions as much as possible in front of her, but I was and still am a wreck. Now we finally get to the reason I am posting on this sub. Since the day I confronted her she has been spamming my phone with texts and calls to the point where I had to block her. After I blocked her she drove to my apartment and started ringing the doorbell, begging me to talk to her. I tried ignoring her and the ringing stopped at some point. When I went out a bit later to buy groceries, she was still in front of my house waiting for me. I didn't see her and as soon as I walked out the door she threw herself at me, telling me how sorry she was and that we needed to talk. I told her that I had already said everything there is to say. After getting her off of me, I asked her to stop bothering me so I could heal but she isn't listening. Every time I go out, I weirdly run into her. Sometimes alone, sometimes with her friends, but she always mysteriously shows up wherever I go. I keep ignoring her but she still won't stop. How do I deal with this? I still like her and hope she gets better but she isn't respecting anything. I told her about me needing space from her to heal. She would have always listened to a request like this but she's been acting so weird ever since I confronted her. She even gets her friends to write to me about how I should forgive her and take her back. But anyone that wrote that to me I already have blocked. It just makes me sad seeing her like this and I don't know what to do anymore. I don't want to move since most of my friends are in this city and the apartment I'm renting is perfect for me. I don't want to get a restraining order, but at this point, I might have to. Thank you for reading. Any advice would be much appreciated. If she always shows up at the places you go to, check your phone for a tracking app. Also check your car for tracking device. Have you sought a restraining order? Or simply pay a lawyer to write a sternly written letter about ceasing and desisting to scare her off. Your ex is mentally ill. It makes it very difficult because no logic gets through to her. Her behavior is very concerning. In the meantime, completely gray rock her. Stop being nice. Ignore her. Let her know you're seeking a restraining order or have seen a lawyer for the harassment. You have to turn mean about it and become a very boring gray rock. First of all, huge props for how you handled this. I can't imagine any better way how to handle this. What I would do in your case would be to give her one more chance to leave you alone. Write her a letter where you tell her that you see no reason in talking to her since she has showed you clearly how good she is at lying to you. You also don't believe that the one time she cheats on you is the one time you catch her, what are the chances? And most of all, you have no desire to talk to her because she never made any attempt to come clean, which shows you that she planned to lie to you forever. She had more than enough time to come clean before you met with her. Because of all that, you can't believe a single word that comes out of her mouth, and that makes any conversation unnecessary. If she wants to show you that you meant anything to her, then she can show that the best way by respecting your wish for distance and stay as far away from you as she can. If she won't do that, then you will be forced to go to the police to get a restraining order. Stay strong and stay on your path, you are doing the great champ. And keep on going to the boxing gym, it will be good for you. Last but not least, since she showed you how good she is at lying to you, you better assume that this wasn't her first rodeo. So go to a doctor and get tested for STDs. Better save than sorry. Sorry you're going through this. I wish I had someone I could talk to like Mr. Krabs when crap like this happened to me. Your handling of this terrible situation is admirable. Stay the course and establish self-esteem through self-valuing like this buddy. I suggest you properly document every interaction she tries to inflict upon you, both offline and online to legally cover your crap if she tries anything more drastic. You probably have a few mutual friends but probably a good idea to completely cut off her friends in general. Guaranteed some if not many knew and didn't say anything. Hell, some are currently even facilitating her harassment. In addition to what someone else said about her digitally tracking you, there could be someone close to you trying to be helpful by leaking your location. Parents, siblings. I don't know about the effectiveness of the letter though. It's a good idea if the other party is reasonable. But she's clearly unwilling to care about your wishes at all. So I think the letter would have little or no value in stopping the harassment. Just call the cops or serve an RO the next time she approaches you again. She's had long enough to get the message and back off. Peace and happiness to you. OP, it's really impressive how you handled this. Good for you to keep your wits about you and dealing with this so strongly. She is going to all your regular spots the days she thinks, knows you'll be there. After one and half year, she knows your routine. Switch up when you go places, or even the places you go to. Try visiting the market an extra five minutes away rather than the one you regularly go to. Headed to the theater, try the one on the other side of town. Do you take the same route everywhere? Learn some new backroads and switch it up. Switch up the days, times you do these things as well. You shouldn't have to do this, but it's the world we live in. 
Also, I had record all conversations with her from now on. There is a chance that she decides not to move on, but to become vengeful. She just took you as a pushover and thought that she could sleep with anyone once you are away. I guarantee you this would have continued like this until you hadn't found out. She lacks morals and character. Get rid of her and never contact this girl again. Me and my GF are both 30. We have good jobs and make a reasonable amount of money. We have been together for 5 years. I love her very much. She is to be frank the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. She could easily be a model. She's many guys ideal woman and a certain 10 upon 10. Whenever she goes out she gets hit on constantly. Whether I'm there or not actually. Me not so much although I have no problem attracting women. I am above average, 7 upon 10, and take care of myself, but I couldn't be a male model or anything. Generally our relationship has been fantastic. Neither of us has been unfaithful and we are very much in love. I certainly love her very very much. The last 6 or so months have been stressful however. Work has been into overdrive for both of us. And although we've made a reasonable amount of money towards buying our first house either of us getting home before 10pm has been very rare. Basically we've been exhausted and have neglected both sex and our relationship. Although not for any other reason than time and being exhausted. My feelings haven't altered and neither have hers. Fast forward to around two and a half months ago when we were both invited to separate reunions with old friends across the country. Neither of us are originally from the area we're living in now. It was a great opportunity for both of us to blow off steam after working so hard and neglecting life for a few months. Although we were both disappointed it wasn't going to be with each other. So we kissed, told each other how much we loved and will miss each other. And I went across the country to my hotel and she went to hers. Let's just say, we had very different weekends. Hers involved going to a party where in her words, the most good looking guy she has ever seen approached her. Apparently he was a friend of a friend of someone else at the party. She basically said every woman was getting wet just looking at him and she was just on a high that this guy approached her. She didn't plan on anything. But everyone was drinking heavily and she ended up in bed with him. For most of the weekend, when she came back she was the most loving attentive girlfriend you have ever seen. I was still too tired, exhausted for love making, but literally she was like a Stepford wife in the weeks that followed. I stupidly just put it down to her missing me and love that she loved me so much. Fast forward again, she broke down and said she couldn't cope with the lie anymore and told me everything. Prompted I'm sure by her finding out that morning that she's pregnant. There is zero possibility of it being mine. She is the most sorry and frightened woman you have ever seen. She even asked me to physically assault her because she is so angry and upset that she cheated on me. She will do anything I want to make things okay. It's a bit scary actually. She is frightened and literally shaking at the prospect of me leaving her. If I'm honest with myself I think most of the fear is about the baby. She is crying saying she can't get rid of it and she is terrified of keeping it and raising it alone. I was completely and utterly numb and heartbroken. I said to her that before I go any further, I need the truth. Literally every second of what happened that weekend or I'm out the door. I knew this was a double-edged sword and that the reality and cold facts could destroy me. But I'm one of these people who can't not know. The facts were horrifying and made me physically sick. I actually threw up. Basically my girlfriend was this guy's personal crap star for the weekend. Some highlights. It was the roughest most aggressive love making she has ever experienced. And she effing loved every minute of it. It was the best love making she has ever experienced. She had several powerful and intense sensual excitement during their weekend in bed. She has never ever come like this before with anyone or solo. His crap was the best she has ever taken. 9 inches, he made her effing measure it during one of their love making games, which rubbed all the right areas and he could keep going for hours. They didn't use protection. How big were this guy's balls? Fun fact, after he came on her craps he pushed her back on the bed and scooped up his crap with his finger and fed it to her. He smacked her during love making, not too hard, her crap and her face and before she had time to even feel the pain or react he would whisper something or do something passionate that made her just let him keep going so she said. So he basically taught my girlfriend to enjoy love making that weekend. Awesome, he caught some of the above on his camera phone. So there is a video somewhere of my girlfriend basically acting like a crap star in a cheap hotel room. So, Reddit. I can't say I didn't consider the implications of asking. But effing hell I have had my heart firmly ripped from me. Currently therefore I have a girlfriend who is pregnant by a male model love making hero with a magic crap. Who is going to have his baby and who is so sorry she will do whatever the f i want so that i can somehow get over this and stay with her basically i can treat her however i please as long as i don't leave it's fine if i hate her for the rest of my life even as long as i stay with her 
We have been talking about marriage and kids this last year and she is desperate for me to commit to that still. She keeps promising to spend the rest of her life making this up to me and will be the perfect wife I could possibly want. I don't even know what to think right now. I feel like every sense I have has been shorted out and I am now totally numb. My first instinct is to just wait for her to work in the morning, then pack up all my stuff and just leave. I am not the type of guy to raise another guy's baby, especially now I know the full circumstances of how it was conceived. We have just two months left on our lease and I can easily switch to a different end of the country with my job very quickly. I feel so grateful for that right now, so I can literally leave and never speak to or hear from her again. The only problem is that I am so in love with her. I don't feel like I'll ever get over her. If I'm hesitating, I'm second guessing myself. What do you think Reddit? Is it possible to overcome a situation like this? I can't think how. I simply cannot raise this guy's kid. I can't. F. My head's all over the place. Rational thoughts would be awesome about now. Dude, she wants you to take care of the baby. Also, since she hasn't had the chance to get bored with that guy, nothing will ever live up to that weekend, and she will probably go looking for it again. She didn't seem to feel too bad until she realized she was pregnant and had to tell you. If you want to raise another man's child while she thinks about him every time you F, then go ahead. But I don't think you want that. She even told you she's just scared of raising it alone. Don't get used as a wallet. The magic crap guy was clearly a vampire, and he glamed her into doing all those things, you see. It was many long hours of the best love making you'll never have, made of a great many individual moments of weakness. It could have happened to anybody. If you stay, it'll send a clear signal that your undying love for her is stronger than your self-respect. And chicks love that stuff. And just think, she'll be super nice to you for at least two more months before she realizes you're an idiot. And that she can treat you however she wants for as long as she decides to keep you around. There are no downsides here. Just reading this I want to leave her. I imagine know how long she sticks around you will never get these images out of your head. Even if your love making life comes back into play you will always second guess yourself. I couldn't stick around with her. She could be the most beautiful woman in the world. Hell the woman of my dreams and after an experience like this, I would have to run for the hills. Admittedly I have been cheated on but never with this kind of graphic and intense repercussions. You seem to have a decent sense of self-awareness and confidence. This will ruin you if you stay. Imagine love making with her if you stay. If just one time, for whatever reason she doesn't peak. Will you be able to not think about that guy? It would be way too much for me. OP, I would suggest leaving. Don't do something stupid and get into a big fight. Just pack up and calmly explain how much she hurt you, and how you will not be able to maintain your relationship with her. She will beg for you not to leave her, but don't give in. You have to be firm. Move out, delete her from your contacts, Facebook, etc. Cut all ties and if she tries to get you back, just say you can't do it. You will get over her, trust me. Time heals all wounds. You're kind of blinded by a lot of emotions, stress, love, betrayal, and you don't see what you should be doing, which is leaving while you can. You deserve someone better, who won't cheat on you no matter how good looking another person is. That is a huge part of loving someone, and if she could drop your relationship that quickly, then she never loved you as much as you thought she did. Leave her and start a new life. You'll be happy you did later on. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you really like my videos then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.